Hey girls, I'm back with another video. This is a tutorial on how to install and play Dark Trim. So for starters, this mod is only available on PC. If you're a console gamer, that's cool, but it's only on PC, I'm just saying. To play Dark Trim, you are going to need Doom2.wad. This means you need to own a copy of Doom 2. You can get a copy on Steam for $5, but if you can't afford that, or if you just don't feel like paying for it, you can get Doom 2 in, in another way, but I'm not allowed to talk about that in this video. But anyway, once you have a copy of Doom 2, you want to go to the game's directory so you can get Doom2.wad. So finding your game's directory is easy. If you're on Steam, just open up Steam and go to your library. So you want to click on Doom 2, right click, click on Manage, and then go to Browse Local Files. And you can close out Steam now, you don't need it anymore. And here is the directory for Doom 2. So you're going to want to open this folder right here that's titled base. And in here you will find the doom2.wad. So you want to take this file and put it to wherever you can easily access it. I'm just going to move it to the desktop over here to keep things simple. Boom. And now you can close out the doom2 directory. You don't need it anymore. And now we can go through the process of installing Darktran. So you want to go to moddb.com and go to the file page and download it from there. I will have a link in this video's description, so that way you won't have to go through Google and search it up and then look through the and look for it. But you want to go to ModDB in the link in the description and just download Darktran. I've already got it downloaded right here, so we don't have to sit around and wait for me to download it. So this also assumes you have WinRAR, by the way, like every human being on the planet with a computer. After downloading Darktran from ModDB, you want to open up the zip file and then extract the folder titled Darktran to wherever you can easily access it. So just like with the Doom2.wad file, I'm just going to move it to my desktop to keep things simple. And you can close that out now. And open this folder titled Darktran. And in here you will have what you need to actually play Darktran. So you want to open the GZ Doom folder right here. And this is where your Doom2.wad file is going to go. Just throw this in here with this folder. Now we're not finished. What you need to do next is go to your GZ Doom configuration settings, which is right here, and rename this. You want to remove cat, and then rename it to whatever your username on your PC is. This is absolutely required. If you do not do this, Dark Trend will not work properly. You will have issues, and the game will essentially be unplayable. I cannot stress this enough. You have to rename this any file. So like if your username on your PC is dumbbutt, you would spell dumbbutt. But my username on my PC is cat because that's my name. So I'm just going to leave it as that. Anyway, once you have your configuration file renamed, you are all set to play Dark Trend. So you want to open the folder back up. And you'll see there's three things in here. There's GZ Doom, which we've already got open right here. There's Thanks, which is a text file, which is just me crediting all the mod authors who I, whose assets I used for this mod. And then there's a folder right here titled Doom 2 Mods. You want to open this folder right here. And you want to select these two files and just open them with gzdoom.exe right here. Alright, nice. The game is working. So you'll know if renaming the any file earlier worked or not by if the main menu looks like a blurry mess. This is because in vanilla Jeezy Doom, the texture filtering mode is set to trilinear for some reason, and it makes the game look absolutely horrible. But if your main menu looks normal like this with no blur, then you are all set to play Dark Trend. So make sure you edit your uh, personal settings, like your keybinds, your mouse sensitivity, and all that stuff, and then you are good to go. You are ready to play. So, something a few people were confused about is the kick attack. So, I explain in the mods description page how to use the kick attack, but I never explain in-game how to actually use it. So, if you don't know how, you just press Q. Q is your kick attack. That's all you need to know. But uh, if you want to if you wanna rebind your kick attack, you just open the console by pressing the tilde key, and you're going to want to type bind, and then whatever key you want, I'll just do O, and then quotation, puke, name, space, kick, quotation, 
boom. You can now use O to kick instead, and you can do this with basically any key on your keyboard. And to unbind it, you do the same thing, you just press, or you just type unbind instead of bind. And that's all you need to do to be able to kick. So uh, you don't have to kick, you don't have to use the kick attack at any point to beat the game. It's just really helpful for saving ammo. And remember that jump kicking deals a lot more damage. So make sure you're doing that. But anyway, that's going to be this whole video. Thank you so much for watching, girls. I really appreciate it. I just realized I completely forgot to say it at the end, so bye, girls.